just wanted to show you the relative date slicer that allows me to look at, let's say five years of data. It filters my entire report. I can see the last 10 years. The difference between years and years calendar is pretty important because last 10 years is 30 total failed banks, right? If I switch to years calendar, I'm no longer calculating from today back five years. I'm changing to look at last year, so ignore this year, and say last year, start there, to all of 2024, 23, 22, 21, so on and so forth. So if it's the last five years, for example, you would see 24, 23, down to 2020. So years and years calendar are going to produce different results because they are different windows, all right? Now the same goes for months and weeks. Make sure you know the difference between those. You can also use the this category. This year, there were two failed banks. This month, there were none. You can even go into the future. If you have dates in the future, you could look out to the next year, next two years, if you have due dates coming up or something like that. Let's build this real quick. I'm going to insert a, I'll clear the filter. I'm going to insert a slicer down here. It's just a regular slicer. And I'm going to put my date column on there. Now it is important to have a proper date column needs to be formatted as a date and go ahead and mark that date table as a date table. Right now I've got my setting on between. I need to change that. I'm gonna go over to my settings. I'll change it from between to relative date. And then of course you can change the font size and you can change the color of the background to make it stand out like mine does. You can also choose to include today or not include today. And you can even say, I'm gonna provide an anchor date. So now when you do the last 10 years, it starts on the anchor day and looks back the last 10 years. All right, so that's the relative date slicer. Hope you liked it. Check out the full video. I'll see you next time.